Hi all, Knife Edge UK here. Uh, this is one of my first videos back, so forgive me if I'm a little bit rusty, but I wanted to get uh, get back in front of the bench and actually uh, do some videos of some of my most recent acquisitions. This is actually one of the older ones that I'm shooting. Uh, this is an Enrique Peña uh, full titanium um, Lanny's clip. Uh, beautiful slip joint. Um, I thought I would just go over it and um, and tell you my thoughts on it. Um, Obviously, it's it's a Lanny's clip, so that gives you your first um, your first look at you know it's an exceptionally classic pattern uh, that everyone knows and loves by uh, originally designed by Tony Bose, um, and yeah, so let's do a few size comparisons before we go any further. Uh, slip joint size comparison first. Here it is against a little diminutive fifteen by Great Eastern Cutlery. Uh, here it is against, it'd be helpful if I hadn't got all the knives closed, wouldn't it? Here it is against a large Sebenza 21, Wilson Combat, incidentally. Uh, we'll put it against a XM18 3.5. It gives you a really good, clear idea. And for the sake of argument, we will put it up against a ruler as well, if I could find it. There we go. Uh, you're looking at a little over three inch total blade length, but well under three inches in cutting length. And then the blade, then the handle is a little under four inch overall. So, what we got here? Well, CPM 154 blade, very common um, in sort of custom high end slip joints like this. Um, a very slightly hollow ground, because it feels very slightly hollow ground. Um, edge, a lovely swedge, nice big nail nick, um, very good. Um, very good, good sharpening choil in there. Uh, lovely blue anodized titanium hardware. Really great, beautiful hafting on this whole thing. Right, look, you can see at the, the end there, perfectly hafted. And all the way along the back, it's just fantastic. Then this uh, this jigging in the titanium, which is kind of, you know, a throwback reference to more traditional, um, you know, bone jigging on knives. This is all done um, by Enrique one by one. So there's no there's no CNC milling involved in this. This is all done by hand, obviously with tools, but it, it's all done by hand by him. Inside, you can see, I wonder if you can see, beautifully finished uh, back spring on the inside as well. Um, the Lanny's clip's a classic shape and design, so from that point of view, it feels great in the hand. Um, I've always found them, they're not the most comfortable knives in the world um, in a pinch grip for me, but they work very, very well. Um, it's beautifully ground, it's fantastically thin behind the edge, really, really nice. It's got a horizontal satin on the flats, and then a very fine belt, uh, belt satin grind um, on the actual uh, edge bevels themselves and up on the swedge. Beautifully done, really nicely done logo. I've had a, few, I've had a couple of knives, yeah, I think it's three or four knives from um, Enrique through my hands now. And um, this is the one that stuck around, partly because um, it's a slip joint and I don't have that many slip joints in my collection now. And partly because I, there's just something about it. I think it might be something to do with this jigging. Um, and just the overall profile of the knife is just it's just lovely and it feels like a very classic piece of work by you know a, a very very well known and highly regarded custom maker at this point um walk and talk really really nice this is ultra smooth i would say the pull is it's not a really heavy pull it's probably a six or a seven mm, yeah probably more on the seven side and the actual has a lovely little bounce into the half stop and a really good snap into the closed position. It is completely flush in all three positions, as you would hope um, on a knife of this quality. So this is a custom Peña, not an X-Series Peña. Um, not that there's anything wrong with the X-Series, of course, they're lovely knives as well. Um, and it's just really, really, really well done. And there's just not enough videos um, of these slightly older pieces of Enrique's work. This is by no means, you know, there wasn't an original logo for a lot of his slip joints that, um, that predates this as well. So this is by no means um, a really old piece of his work, but it is um, certainly by modern standards. He doesn't make many knives like this now. Most of what he does now tends to be front flippers, um, some thumb studs. His um, his Mueller uh, front flippers, fantastic, and obviously he's making a lot of knives with Reap for his um, X series. Uh, but this is you know one of his full customs, and it is. I mean, really, there's there's very 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 little to complain about with this knife. I find that the the choil cuts a little bit deeper than maybe I would have chosen it to be, but it flows well with the whole knife. 
Um, so I guess you know I'm I'm splitting hairs in quite a big way there. It's you know it's just really 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 well done, and um, I can't really argue with it. If you get a chance to grab one of these on the secondary. Uh, they vary in price quite a lot. It really depends what's going on at the time. These don't seem to hold their... They, they hold their value absolutely fine, but they're not... Uh, he's not a maker who rockets up on secondary value unless it happens to be just a very rare or, you know, at the time, particularly sought after version of his work. Uh, these seem to go for, you know, 700 or so there or thereabouts. And um, yeah, sure, it's a very expensive slip joint. It's custom, um, but... It is beautiful, and if you want sort of, you know, one of the pinnacle makers, um, I think Enrique certainly fits that bill. Okay, guys, short video today, because there isn't a huge amount to say. It's just a great knife. Thanks very much, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.